Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best raw gold AOE farm for majors in Season of Mastery. Now this is going to be the SM Cath one pool. Now this is around 60 to 80 gold per hour, straight from venerables in raw gold. You will also get a lot of cloth and a lot of silk. You can turn that into bandages and vendor it, or you can sell it on the AH if that's worth more and you'll make more. So there's one main requirement that you're going to need, which is 60 plus frost resistance with your ice armor buff up. Now this is to resist the frost bolts. And when you take the talent magic absorption, you have a chance to restore 5% of your mana every time you resist one of these frost bolts. This will make more sense later on in the video where I'll show you where you actually resist them and the talents. You're also going to need a PvP trinket to get out of any slows that may occur in emergency situations. And then now to get your frost resistance, your 60 plus frost resistance, it's pretty easy. There's a lot of items in the game with frost resistance. Um, for example, if you want to go to UBRS and you can farm the, the frost with cape from the beast. This is very easy to farm. Now there's also a really good wand in Undead Stratham that you can farm. Another easy thing to get is the, the trinket, the frost wolf trinket from the AV quest line. And then if you don't want to get like farm any of these items for your frost resistance, you could actually just go find a tailorer that has the bright cloth gear that they've learnt. Now this will all have really good frost resist on it. It doesn't have many other stats, but it's got a lot of resist and it will bump you up to where you need to be. So with ice armor there, as you can see, 66 frost resistance, that's more than enough. Once you pass 60, that is plenty. You can get a bit more and it will help just to make the runs a bit smoother, but 60 plus is the bare minimum and now you, now for the stat priorities you're going to want intellect your frost resistance and then cinema so you're going to want around 3 plus k health and around 4.5 k mana and you should be right to do this all right going on to the talent tree so what you're going to be running for this sm1 pool is 14 in arcane 0 in fire and 37 in frost. Starting off in arcane with the most important talent being magic absorption. So every time you resist a frost bolt because of your 60 plus frost resistance, you'll have a chance to get back 5% mana for each resist. This will basically keep you with unlimited mana. It's a must have for the SM1 pool. Also, we take Arcane Resist for the extra armor, which is very useful in this pool. Now, there's 9 in fire, and then 37 go into, for, into frost. Everything except improved frostbolt, frostbite, and winter's chill. You do not want any of them. You don't want frostbite because it will randomly freeze the mobs in places where you don't want them to when you're pulling them in the pool and of course you're going to need ice block this is the main thing to keep you alive for the pool to stack them all up so this is the talents that you're going to need for this all right so here i'll show you a perfect sm cath pool and talk you through it so you want to make sure that you've got all your buffs up you want to come in here and you want to put on your ice barrier and your mana shield right you want to pull this guy with your wand once he's in line with the other two just here you want to arcane explosion all of them come up to the tunnel and wait wait till they all stack so you can nova all of them now they're all nova you want to either walk around that mage or blink through them so you don't pull that one not yet then you want to run up the stairs you can even run on either side to avoid pulling aggro of them guys some of the time it, there won't be any pats there and you'll be able to just walk up the steps jump up on the fountain come up here 
Now you want to open the door. The door takes five seconds to open. Now while this is happening, the mobs will be coming up behind you, which is perfect. You want to come just in here, wait a little bit for the mobs from behind to catch up. Do an arcane explosion, make sure you have a fresh ice barrier. Run up the side here, on the right side, so you can pull right up to the side. You want to run up, do not pull the boss, right here. By that all after, you want to blink out of it, after you've novered, you want to blink. And then if any are close to you, you want to jump around, cone of cold them, make sure your shields are up. Now here's where you're going to want to make your, make sure you've got your ice barrier and your frost water up. Now, follow exactly where I go to the jumps that I do. So you want to jump over the corner. You want an arcane explosion. Make sure that you're pulling all these mobs. Come down the steps. You want to hug the side here, the right side. Do an arcane explosion just there. Jump through the side. Make sure that you've got your frost ward up. You do not want to use blink here. Not yet, because you're going to need it really soon. Make sure your ice barriers are up. So do not use your blink yet. You want to wait till you get to the corner as they're catching up to you. Now blink. Keep running up. Keep up your mana shields. So right there, I got frost bolted and slowed. That's where your PvP trinket is going to come in handy. That's where you're going to need to use it. So then you want to keep running up here. Now you're running up to the safe spot right here. So the second tile, the middle tile of the three, you have 10 seconds here, which is a safe spot. So you can ever evo or you can use bandages if you need health or mana make sure it's under the 10 seconds though or they all just run back you want to jump off make sure you aggro everything here now you want to make sure you haven't you have an ice barrier on cooldown you want to blink to avoid them so they don't catch up to you come down in the middle of the steps a fresh ice barrier a fresh mana shield and then you want to ice block once they all reach you then you want to wait out your ice block so they all stack up and then you want to spam nova then you want to blink and then you want to start doing your aoe you can start off with the rank one and then the rest will be rank sixes right and you want to keep up your frost ward by this is happening and you want to also keep up your shields now the mobs you're going to juggle them on this corner so when you jump up and down the fountain they either run up the top if you're on the fountain or they'll run down and around to you if you're down on the ground so what you do is you want to put your your blizz your blizzard right on the edge of that corner that L part of the corner is where you want to keep your blizzards and so if any reach you they will actually run back and stack with the whole mob in the blizzard as you can see because of the talents we have, magic absorption, every time we're resisting one of them frost bolts, we're getting back 5% mana, or we have a chance to. So the mana is no problem, no issue here. After you've got them down pretty low, you can finish them off with your blizzard, or you can come up arcane explosion them, finish them off, and now you have all the mages left. So these will still be giving you mana, so what you want to do is use your highest rank blizzard on them, burn them down, and then that is basically it, you get to looting. So it's a it's a very technical pull if you don't do it right. Like you need to make sure you have a PvP trinket if for the emergency that you get slowed, then you can simply use your PvP trinket and keep on going. But you're gonna be making around 60 to 80 gold per hour here. A lot of it is going to be from vendables, right? Well, all of it's going to be from vendables. The only things that you maybe want to going to sell are your silk and your cloths, right? Because they might go for a bit more on the auction house. Also, some of the gear could be used for like level 39 twinks. Some of it can sell pretty good. Other than that, you're going to be just vendoring everything and you'll be making up to 80 gold per hour which is very good, it's probably the best AoE spot for mages now in Season of Mastery since they've nerfed like Maradon and all them other things this would be the best raw gold farm for a mage AoE in SOM 100% comment down below how much you're making per hour here 
and if there's any other farms you would like to see. Also, if you want more in-depth gold farms, investments, AOE farms, um, just strategies to make gold in Season Mastery, I have my own gold making guide, which I'll be updating all the way through Season of Mastery, and the updates will be 100% free. So every single new phase, I'll be bringing out new content in the guide that you'll get for free if you've already got it. Anyways, guys, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe because there's going to be a lot more videos all throughout the year of Season of Mastery about making gold, about Season of Mastery, just everything Season of Mastery related. Until the next video, guys, take care and hopefully this helped.